Hi friends, so in this video we are going to discuss about instruction pipelining. So this instruction pipelining uh, regarding single processor. Okay, so this is the timing diagram. So if you are considering the instruction execution, there are major five phases are available. So one is the instruction fetch, instruction decode and third one is a uh, operand fetch that is a copy the operand. Uh, then instruction execution and last one is uh, operand store that is a write the operand in the uh, exact memory location so this is the timing diagram so you just consider for this example we are taking we are considering five instructions for execution so this is a timing diagram one two three four up to t9 there is a time nine up to there so these are the five instructions here then so if you are considering the instruction execution the processor will do only one type of operation at a time only one instruction can be fetched at a time same time the only one instruction can be decoded at a time but the pipelining concept is overlapping the instructions by the phases so one instruction fetch during the second time so first instruction will be decoded and second instruction will be fetched so this is how so here it's not two fetching instructions so one instruction is decoded another instruction is fetched so this is overlapping the instruction so this is how the pipelining concept will work in the processor so we'll discuss we will see this so time one so instruction one is fetched and time two instruction one is decoded but instruction one two is fetched and time 3 operand fetched for instruction 1 then instruction decoded for second instruction and instruction fetch for the third instruction likewise time 4 instruction 1 is executed instruction 2 is uh, operand fetch then uh, instruction decode for third instruction and instruction fetch for fourth instruction then the time 5 so first instruction the operand will be stored second instruction will be executed and third instruction the operand will be fetched and the fourth instruction the instruction will be decoded and fifth instruction will be fetched so you can ask uh, what is the major advantage you just consider if the one instruction is executed at a time that is a t1 to t5 the only one instruction is executed no other instructions is fetched or decoded if you are considering that so t5 times are required for one instruction execution so if you are considering five instructions t5 into 5 so 25 uh, t, t25 seconds are required to execute all the five instructions but you just consider here five instruction instructions are executed within t9 seconds that is a time so this is the major advantage of the instruction pipelining so this is how you can improve the performance of the processor with the help of pipelining concept thank you